Hello there and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the Love and Romance Energy Read for uh, whichever Aries I'm reading for during this week of February 4th to the 10th or 11th. I started out a little bit late this week because I've been helping out uh, one of my kiddos on Mondays. So it is what it is, right? In the center of the spread, using the Romance Angel deck right off the bat, we have someone here, this whichever Aries I'm reading for, who is uh, being guided to trust and have faith in spirit that through your hopes, wishes, prayers, and etc., that you will, I don't know how this cord ended up in the way. Let's move this over. That you will start to feel love in your life again. So what I'm feeling is for those of you Aries that are in a commitment, maybe things have been a little bit dry and you're thinking about, you know, is this my soulmate? Uh, is there another person out there for me during this week? Uh, but this is a popular week uh, for Aries. It is a time uh, to focus on travel. So it would be a really good time if you're in a partnership to travel and to work on your partnership, to give your relationship a chance. Now, if you are single, some of you may be contemplating a connection and may be thinking and or are wanting to give a relationship a chance this week. Well, you're going to have energies of smooth, charming and diplomatic feelings this week. The way the uh, stars are is what I am learning. I've been learning some of the planets, and I'm just not going to get into that right now. Let's jump into the three cards spread for the week of February 4th to around the 10th or 11th, uh, however these may apply. Now, yesterday going into today on the 4th of February, Aries, we do have a uh, spirit nudging you to remain optimistic and positive about life in general. Because positive thoughts are going to lead you away from whatever's keeping you trapped in your thoughts. Whatever kept your attention that maybe wasn't too healthy in the past. It's time to uh, free yourself from any form of addiction or codependency. And just remain optimistic this week that Spirit's got your, air, your back in the area of love and romance. So by the weekend, we'll say by midweek, so Wednesday going into about Saturday, um, there's a little cautionary sign here. It's like this Aries is looking back saying, I, I know I need to make up, I know I need to be optimistic. I know I need to give more, but I am addicted to a situation whereby someone was wearing a false mask. Therefore, their energy may be causing this Aries to also wear a false mask because of negative thoughts regarding a situation in the past. So the card on the bottom of the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue, you have the energy of attraction. You attract romance just by enjoying every moment fully in your life is the advice here this week. So Spirit is saying again, remain optimistic. Free yourself from anything that is negative. Negative people, places, circumstances, situations, or environments. Now I'm going to do a Celtic spread using the Gypsy Oracle deck because this has a lot about people and uh, experiences. And we'll see if we can pin this energy down a little bit better for whichever Aries I'm reading for during this general reading, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Jupiter, Pluto, whatever. All right, so in the center of the Celtic spread, we do have an ending. So it could be that there was an Aries yesterday, today, thinking about a connection that had ended with the death energies. And yes, it's hard, right, to lift yourself back up and to get optimistic and excited about forward movement after something has died away. But I feel like today on the 4th going into the 6th, okay, so I'm getting Wednesday or Thursday, uh, what you are thinking about Aries in the area of home, um, I think is your home, right? 
letting go of what didn't fulfill you, empty people, empty promises, deception, people who were not honest. That has ended when the death card shows up. It was naturally supposed to fall away from your journey in your own personal life path. So now we have an Aries that's thinking about home and or business, maybe starting a home business, maybe uh, working on a home business. Giving thanks is what I just heard to the fact that whichever Aries I'm reading for has this beautiful home environment. And they're very firm in their foundation with the sweetheart energy. So this means that Again, we have an Aries that is the sweetheart energy. She's got a beautiful home. She's thinking about her environment. She's thinking about how to remain optimistic in these circumstances because something ended. Maybe the fact that she, he or she wanted to be a sweetheart in a connection with the situation that ended. And now they're thinking about how do I move forward positively in the area of home, business, family, however that applies to you this week. Yes. So in the past, there was a lover energy, somebody who was dressed up, somebody with this red cloth here, somebody who may have been very financially abundant, secure and stable. There's someone steer, still trying to think positively about a connection that ended. It is very hard to cut ties, especially from a situation that was a lesson. I'm feeling like someone experienced a lesson in deception, but it helped for them to this Aries to reflect upon themselves and recognize how they became codependent, addicted to an unhealthy situation, to this lover energy in the past. Now, uh, this, okay, I'm hearing the sixth and seventh. And eighth, you guys, like I said, Aries, you are going to be feeling very charming, dipl diplomatic, happy uh, because you followed spirit's advice, right? Because you created plans and ideas for yourself in a positive uh, way. It is a good week to buy yourself some nice clothing. Dress up and go out to an event or with a partner or to meet up with some friends for you're going to recognize that you have learned a lot. What it is you became dependent on that was unhealthy. The fact that it has ended and that now you are more, more advanced. See, at first you were a sweetheart energy and you were to find contentment with that, but now you have evolved into this young woman or man energy where you are ready for commitment because of what you learned. You're ready to let go of some form of codependency or addiction. Wow. So in your actions position, as you stay optimistic about your home, your business, your creative ideas, your own personal journey, uh, you're going to be able to create fortune after an ending of an old lover. Now, in the spiritual assistance or advice position, you do have the enemy energies. So some of you may be tempted once again. From maybe the 8th going through the weekend into the 10th or 11th, be careful because the enemy is about someone who is full of energies of lies and deceit. And see, he's coming for, towards her fortune towards the fact that she has grown fortunately into a beautiful young he or she person, not even young, but with the young woman energies, someone who has evolved and is more aware. And that's what makes you feel fortunate and positive moving forward, recognizing deception when it comes your way at the end of the week or the weekend. For this Aries, we'll be experiencing hopes and or fears that someone will come along and be a gentleman or a kind partner and open up doors and treat you with respect. That Aries, you are fortunate because you have been blessed with someone who wants to create 
a positive future with you. Yes. So some of you also may be fearing someone who comes in with the service energy, wanting to open up doors and, and wanting to be a part of you. But be careful because we've got the enemy here. Um, and then them looking at your fortune, at what you're creating, at what you are uh, celebrating in your life that is good. So by the weekend, we've got the pleasure-seeking energy again. Um, if you're making secret plans or ideas this week, uh, be suave about it, right? Smooth, charming, but diplomatic. Be clear about your boundaries and, you know, focus on enjoying the communication without being manipulated or tripped. You've been here and done that, right? And now you are fortunate to move into the direction of someone who either treats you better or into the direction of a pleasure seeker who's coming after what you have, however that applies personally. Remember, you're going to be very attractive this week, like the stars and the planets are describing for Aries. And Spirit's saying it's safe for you to love. Love is about patience and kindness. It isn't about giving away your mind, body, and soul. It's about uh, freeing yourself from negativity and allowing a healing process. Yes, because on the bottom, I'm going to do a three-card spread with the same Gypsy Oracle deck to my left. We have an Aries who is recognizing that they did indeed bring upon themselves a situation whereby they felt imprisoned stuck with negativity but for some of you it could be that by wednesday or thursday this week aries you guys are receiving some form of communication or paperwork that you are researching with scholar energy having to do with money having to do with your fortune and recognizing during this process that you have evolved because of a situation that involved children, because of a situation involving your childhood or your past, you have grown and evolved from and learned about misfortune in the area of love. And the angel sees that. The angel of love is looking right at the misfortune and is saying, Free yourself from that heavy thought. See how he has his hand on his head? And have hope. Take off the blindfold of I cannot see positive things. I was positive looking towards the past, but now I'm codependent on what ended. And I know that this is a good week to get together and have conversations with family and friends. So that I can heal from the energies of someone who was carrying energy of falseness. Someone who I thought would come and rescue me. But as you remain faithful, wonderful surprises are going to take place. For those of you who can ask spirit, let free me from the sorrow. Related to this Lord energy. Relating, relating to someone who is in a leadership position, someone who's financially abundant, secure, and stable, someone who's maybe a father figure, um, whatever. For people want to be your friend, you can be a good friend. And this is the week to create cheerfulness and, and gather with those who really, truly love you, family and friends. Because there was a lesson here when the old woman shows up, recognizing the arrogance ego and the pain it causes when someone else is arrogant when we're arrogant when we make decisions that are not right spirit is saying with the priest energy now you are going to understand right from wrong and be able to free yourself from whatever you are addicted to in the past therefore some form of consolation prize is going to be dropped your way now, for some of you, you're, you know, doing well, you're connecting with friends this week, you're feeling pretty darn good, and then boom, somebody shows up, right? They come journeying towards you quickly and or unexpectedly causing you energies of despair. Well, you can see them a mile away because you have grown. And so Spirit's saying continue to wait and to uh, give thanks to the people who want to dance in your life story with you. Or yes, some of you are going to be tested and you're being tested by the soldier. I love him and leave him energy. 
who's coming your way that is deceptive. Who could that be? Let's bring in the Game of Thrones deck real quick, and we'll clarify who that may be for whichever Aries this is. And should these messages resonate and you'd like a lot more deep information about what's going on in your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Oops. Sorry about that. Again, I've got my kids needing my time right now. Okay, indecision regarding deception, wishes coming true and now looking at a new direction with someone maybe who has earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Should I or shouldn't I move into this new direction? For now, someone's coming towards me, um, maybe offering commitment, but I'm receiving a lot of attention and recognition because I am standing on a solid foundation. So should I or shouldn't I move into a new direction? And is it right? For some of you, you're going to receive, a, as you focus on your hopes, wishes, prayers, dreams, you're going to find great balance and a new opportunity is going to open up. There's a lot of attention and recognition because of this fortune. So um, with the fool, spirit saying, absolutely. If this has to do with what you've been working on financially, creatively, connecting with others um, to start a new direction for yourself, Great balance and wishes coming true with the Nine of Cups and the Justice Energies. A new direction. With maybe someone who has uh, Libra in their chart. Is going to lead you towards great joy and happiness. Towards great fortune. But there will be a test. Because somebody, and it comes this way, is coming towards your fortune and what you're creating. But you are stronger now. You can now see Someone who's wearing a false mask, and you'll recognize that this week. So remain positive and optimistic so spirit can bring you uh, newness in your life that will help to free you from whatever addictions are affecting you that are not healthy for you and from those coming towards you who just want to take. You can do this. Thank you again for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated. Take care and have a great week. And God bless.